now we are going to continue the problem so the given problem is the antenna efficiency it is 35 percentage is given the maximum radiation intensity it is given as 0.5 watt and you are asked to calculate the directivity of the antenna with respect to two cases one case with the power input of 0.4 watt and another case is power input of the radiation power of 3 watt so uh, the so you are requested to calculate the directivity so the formula for directivity it is directivity T is equal to u max divided by p radiation divided by 4 pi so p rad it is nothing but the radiation power and here the, this is the maximum radiation intensity that is equal to given as 0.5 so u max it is given as 0.5 right so u max is given as 0.5 and the radiation is given as uh, 30 uh, radiation resistance is uh, given so from that radiation resistance you you, you can able to calculate the um, uh, you can able to calculate the radiation power because the, the efficiency formula is the output power or the radiation power divided by the incident power or the input power so from that you can able to calculate the p radiation which is equal to p radiation is equal to 0. 38 watt so by substituting that calculated p radiation as 0 0.38 in this formula you can able to calculate the reactivity for the first case by having the p input is equal to 0.4 watt and for next one the p radiation is directly given that is equal to 3 watt so just by here in this formula if you substitute the p radiation is equal to 0.3 you will be getting the directivity for the second case that is equal to 20.9439 the next problem the maximum current carried by lambda by 4 lambda by 40 length the antenna is 120 amps so the length of the antenna is lambda by 40 and the current is 120 amps you are asked to calculate the power radiated by the antenna and radiation resistance and efficiency if the last resistance is equal to 1 ohm so the the uh, varying length that is equal to lambda by 40 is given right so the radiation resistance formula r radiation is equal to 80 pi square dl by lambda square so if you substitute the value of dl is equal to lambda by 40 you will be getting the p radiation is equal to 0 0.4934 then the maximum current carried by the antenna it is 125 amps is given so that is equal to im so from that you can able to calculate the rms value of current by using the formula irms equal to im by root 2 so the irms value is 88.38 by using this irms value you can able to calculate the power radiation which is equal to given by the radiation resistance into irms the whole square so if you substitute the radi the both the values the radiation resistance you have calculated and just now you calculate the irms value also so if you substitute both the values you can be able to calculate the p radiation and next you are all asked to count calculate the efficiency also so here the last resistance is given as one ohm right so by substituting this formula we already know that so the efficiency is equal to p rad divided by p radiation plus p loss r it is equal to radiation resistance divided by radiation resistance plus loss resistance so if you substitute both the values you can get the efficiency value that is equal to 0.33 the next problem an antenna in jam aircraft is being used to jam enemy's radar if the antenna gain is 12 db in the direction of transmission and the radiator power is 5 kilowatt calculate the electric field intensity of the enemy radar which is 3 kilometer away and the frequency of transmission is 4 kilohertz right so this is a given problem so uh, you, you you are asked to calculate the electric field intensity right so here for that the first given problem is uh, given data is 12 db the gain is given so if since the given data is in terms of db so you are you you you, you are you have to convert that into statistical value by taking the anti log so right? so the anti log of 12 by 10 so actually gain means 10 log of that particular quantity right so that's why the given value first it should be divided by 10 then it should be taken by anti log in order to convert that into statistical value so that is equal to 15 by 85 and the one more given parameter radiated power is given so the uh, uh, formula for directivity is equal to pd by radiation power divided by 4 by r squared 
So now you have to calculate the power density PD which is given by 1 by 2 the electric field intensity divided by eta naught where eta naught it is a characteristic impedance of the free space which is a constant value we know that that is equal to 125. So if you substitute the uh, values right if you substitute this formula here if you substitute this formula in the GD formula which is given in the previous slide right so here this is the previous formula so if you substitute both the values you will be getting so in this uh, formula if you substitute instead of this PD if you substitute this value 1 by 2 into eta uh, e square divided by eta naught you will be getting this value and if you rearrange, rearrange it you will be getting the final equation for electric field strength the whole square is equal to this one so from that you can be able to calculate the electric field strength by substituting the given values so which is equal to 0 0.7268 right then so uh, this is the uh, electric field strength of the given uh, aircraft which is used to jam the enemy aircraft 